Hi there, Editor Eric here. I'm just letting you all know we're taking a week off due to some health issues, but we'll be back next week with a brand new episode. Meanwhile, why don't you enjoy this brief compilation of all of the different top three segments we've done so far. Also, before we get started, a couple quick announcements. One, starting next week, this podcast will be available on hopefully most platforms that podcast also we'll be launching some merch so if that's a thing you're excited for please listen to the beginning of next week's episode anyway editor eric out i'll see you next time before we get too far um into this uh let's kind of get a baseline for where our opinions kind of lie uh we'll start with ronnie what are your top three jrpgs uh, this is hard um because i have a memory of a goldfish what games i completed um i'm gonna probably say um probably go with xenoblade chronicles one and then probably Persona 5 Royal, because one day I'll play Persona 3, and I, I, that's my Persona slot. I, I, I really think Persona 3 is better than Persona 5 Royal, just thematically. Um, and I just never played it, so it's complicated. And then I'll put Gina Blade Chronicles 3, because I just finished it four or five, like nine or ten hours ago. So uh, it, it's fresh in my mind. Indeed. I, Xenoblade is one of my favorite series. Um, personally, I, I I really enjoy it. Um, and there's I play other RPGs like I, I did play Tales of the Abyss, and that was pretty solid. But I, I think those are the kind of things I like, end up kind of going back to is Xenoblade and Persona. So understandable, uh, Ray Ray. Yeah, I had a bit of a struggle for this one because my first two are more or less locked. But I had a bit of a royal rumble for the first slot. A third mm-hmm. slot, rather. I've been told I'm not allowed to just say, oh yeah, Legend of Heroes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is my top three. <laughs> so, I'll stick with Legend of Heroes as a top one, that's not going to change. Uh, similarly, Fire Emblem is technically a JRPG, so that that's takes my second slot as a series of games there. That's fair. Uh, the third slot was my hard one to choose. Uh, I bounced around Xenoblade in my head, and uh, Tales of Arise popped up, and Valkyrie Chronicles. And I thought of Dragon's Dogma, which... Do you, have you guys heard of Dragon's Dogma? I have heard of Dragon's Dogma. That's it's kind actually... of like an ARPG. Yeah. And it's made by Capcom. So I'm not sure if that makes it count as a JRPG. But I if it is, f- that would be third. It's like a fighting game JRPG. Mm. Yeah. It's like if Street but Fighter it... was a JRPG. Actually, isn't Street Fighter 6 like have like an RPG mode in it? Or, or Street Fighter 8 or whatever one they're on now? I haven't played since 5, so I have no what idea. Yeah, like the new one. Like I, I don't know. I saw something about it. But which yeah, which so. Legend of Heroes? Which Legend of Heroes specifically? If you had to put one at the very top, probably Cold Steel Two. Dang. I have a I have a lot to say about the Legend of Heroes series, and I could be here hours if I was allowed, allowed to talk about it. But I feel like Cold Steel Two is like my favorite all rounded game. Look, we'll 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 bring you back for the Cold Steel retrospectives. How's that sound? Hell yeah. <laughs> then we'll talk about it for hours. I would probably say for myself, um, I'm going to say probably Xenoblade. Th- Xenoblade 3 was really good. This is not in like a specific order. Like I'd probably put like Xenoblade 3, Skies of Arcadia, and Chrono Cross. Sir. I have never played or seen a Chrono Cross. I think it was a bit before my time, really. Oh, they dude. did a remake recently on the yeah. Switch, or a remaster. Oh, not remake, right? It was re- remaster is the correct term here. But, yes, uh, and it comes with the like visual novel that it's based off of. That's quite cool. Maybe I'll oh, look yeah. into that. It's, I that is probably the th- third most played game I have ever played in my entire life. Wow. I I learned, look, when you learn what the maximum on the in-game timer is, that's how you know you've played a game too much. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the in-game timer max on any games I've ever played. Uh, it's like 900, it was like 987, it just stopped counting. Oh, interesting. Um, cool. I've, I've, I new game plus that way too much. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so that's, oh, dude, that's 
kind of interesting. So Xeno, so Ronnie, like Xenoblade one and three are both in like your top three. Yeah, I mean, now that I remember that Fire Emblem counts as a JRPG, Fire Emblem I might, does. Um, I might kick off. Um, I really did like Three Houses a lot. Um, Three Houses I, was classic. I, 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 I specifically played um, the Golden Deer route just for I haven't put, I had never got around to finishing the other two routes. So. But, mm -hmm. or, well, there's three, there, there's four route, but it's, it's complicated anyway. Um, yeah. So I, remembering that three houses existed, I would I could I could feel comfortable maybe kicking off like the Blade Chronicles three. I guess I just you would kick I get three. Of, I, like I, I like I like one a lot. One is a special place in my heart. So I do That's, like one a lot. It's a good game. I bought one. It's a good game. Two times I bought I bought I, I specifically <laughs> bought a new 3DX XL to play one because it was only available on a new 3DX XL, and then I bought the Sweet. remake, the, uh, the definitive edition when it came out. And I don't like rebuying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't buy there's... Skyrim twelve times. Yeah, God, just buy Skyrim for like your <laughs> smart fridge or whatever. <laughs> I'm so hyped I do not have a smart bridge to buy Skyrim. You know? Oh, so, it's such saying. a good plan. Um, um but yeah, I, I would say that like Fire Emblem Persona and Zeta Blade are like the the three RPGs that are pretty close to my heart. Um, I... Pokemon used to be up there, but it's it's fallen down. Corporate Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I I have never played a Fire Emblem to completion. I have, oh like, wow! The I, I have like. History. Yeah, I have like two hours or maybe three hours in Awakening, and that's like it. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got like a lot of huge Nintendo simp you would have like been more exposed to them over the years. You'd think so, but like I'm just I don't know. I I'm very like culturally aware of Fire Emblem, but I've just never mm -hmm. actually sat down and played it. I own three houses <laughs> with the expansion <laughs> pass. I bought the, I bought the stupid <laughs> thing like on launch. Uh, never played it. Maybe in the lead up to the next game, you can have a go. I yes, this this went from something I had no idea what it was mm -hmm. to probably at bare minimum a top three JRPG yeah. I've ever played. And like yeah. that's a that, actually yeah. Before we get before we get deep in the reads on this, hit me with your top three JRPGs. Ooh, um, hit hit me honestly, with that. Um bit of bias on this not because this is what we're talking about right now mm -hmm. but uh my journey with uh the legend of heroes series started with uh trails of cold steel so mm -hmm. i'm putting that one in the list for sure Definitely. um and then i have a real soft spot for dark cloud 2 oh and, uh, yes yeah and uh and star ocean till the end of time i never played a star ocean game i heard really? they're really good i heard they're yeah. really good i've Most owned one for the playstation 2 it, i want to say I think it was one of two titles. Funnily enough, uh, the one I named might be one of them. That's, yeah. that's what it was on. And yeah. I, I played like an hour of it, and then I got distracted by Kingdom Hearts again. <laughs> Understandable. Kingdom yeah. Hearts is phenomenal. <laughs> Dude, Kingdom Hearts 2 is... Yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2 is first up there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, so you're going to say Star Ocean till the end of time, Trails yeah. of Cold Steel. Yeah. And uh, Dark Cloud 2. Yeah. God, that's, that's taken... That is sending me. Yeah. God. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I'm twelve year old, twelve years old in the living room all over again. That's that's amazing. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. No, I've I've got oh, yeah. I got some deep roots in, uh, oh, in JRPGs mm -hmm. for sure. I would say my top three. I, again, I'm gonna have to probably put like Trails in the Sky. Like, yeah. I, I, and I do kind of consider these definitely like I feel like a lot of people consider them to be one game, right? Uh, yeah. So I'll say like first and second chapter. I'm, and this is not in a specific order. Uh, I, I don't know if yours was actual ranked. Like you're no. gonna, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say Chrono Cross. Ooh, okay. Chrono Cross, not Chrono Trigger. I'm, yeah, I, I, I've had this discussion a few times with people, and it's like I don't particularly like chrono trigger it's a good really? game yeah yeah but like i played chrono cross before i even knew chrono trigger was a game like i didn't oh, i've never heard of it in okay. like at the time but like i saw 
I saw the cover for Chrono Cross in my like Kmart or whatever, wherever wow. you buy video, <laughs> wherever you buy video games when you're you know in the yeah. '90s. And yeah. <laughs> I bought I bought that and Donkey Kong sixty four, oh. and that was that was a oh, dude. Don, DK sixty four yeah. is a good game. Uh, yeah. And but yeah, like Chrono Cross. I I loved that game so much. I imported the soundtrack CDs from Japan, and I will say that I did this in the year two thousand and two, when that's just not a thing that happened. Yeah, In, like you just like the logistics I had to go through, like the hoops I had to go through, just to convince a like some adult in my life it, which ended up being my high school physics teacher i like gave him the cash for that and then he's like oh it's gonna be like 60 dollars in shipping and I, so i gave him 60 i gave him the shipping which is more yeah. than the cds yeah and we had to go through this super sketchy website <laughs> which was made in like geo cities or whatever but whatever we got it oh my gosh um but yeah i would say chrono cross uh this game and probably skies of arcadia okay no those are those are amazing picks too mm. actually okay yeah okay, so if if that's not uh if that's not evidence that we're, we're we probably know what we're about to be talking about here <laughs> yeah that's yeah yeah that would be it <laughs> yeah 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 like um like if i were to do like a top five though one of the xenoblades would definitely get on there Okay. God, God, I love Xenoblade 2 yeah. so much. It's such a stupid video game, and I love every second of it. <laughs> I've uh, I've got a lot of respect for Xenoblade. I haven't given it a proper chance, though, admittedly. Like, That's I, I hear about how long, like, the first game is in particular, and I'm just like, ooh, that might be a bit more of an undertaking than I'm willing to the... put in at this moment in time. Oh, yeah. Th I mean, honestly, I haven't played them myself until this year. Yeah. Because, uh, like... Uh, I, I just never, I bought them for the Switch, like, yeah. when they came out, and then Definitive Edition came out for the first one more more recently, and I picked that up, but I never touched them, because I'm like, yeah, these are like 80-hour JRPGs, I, I don't have time for this. Yeah. And yeah, then I, I streamed them, and that's how I forced myself to play 80-hour JRPGs. <laughs> <laughs> it's great that that makes perfect sense though <laughs> yeah it's like literally how i'm playing all these games and i'm like oh, i'll never have time to play this around this time last year actually and i was like man this is a lot of fun and i kind of am not vibing with the gacha games that i'm currently playing and because i was like a pro i was a 100 percent like a mobile game gacha game streamer yeah and then um, i was like yeah and then i was like all right let's do this and then i played xenoblade and i full and then after xenoblade was trails in the sky and i'm like yeah no this is all i'm doing now this is the primary focus <laughs> Yo, the, it, it, the games like this can really be career defining for people like us honestly oh my god it's it's so wild like going going from literally having never heard of this series at the beginning of the year to trails from zero. And I'm, I'm going to say this with a hundred percent. Yeah. Trails from zero is a top three JRPG for me. Ooh. Okay. I don't I like know that. what it's kicking out though. <laughs> right. Right. So, so what would you say that your top three currently consists of right now? It's Chrono or, Cross. Guess, yeah. Prior to zero. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Chrono Cross, Skies of Arcadia. Oh man, Zero might be it, the third one now. I can't, I can't even think of a third one on top. <laughs> like, 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 though, because those two, like, I would probably say, like, Tales of Symphonia would probably be, like, in that top three, but I feel like Tales of Symphonia is more of, like, a formative JRPG rather than a good one. It kind yeah. of just like it. I played it at a time. It was like my first like real JRPG that I played. That makes sense. Yeah. And uh, I think like and like yeah, like I got that on the GameCube, and it was it was great. Actually, what was your first JRPG? Um, the first one I think I ever actually had hands on with was mm -hmm. probably. 
Star Ocean till the end of time oh that I can recall God. anyway. Yeah, That's like a I think that spicy was... one. Yeah, like I I've um, been exposed to Legend of Dragoon, Final Fantasy VII, like at a very young age, but I never really got to like play them and understand what it meant to be playing any kind of JRPG. So I think yeah, mm-hmm. that one was the first one I was actually hands on with. Yeah, I I I liked Legend of Dragoon uh, a lot. Now that you've mentioned it, uh, yeah, but like. I played Symphonia and I'm like, oh, man, are there other games like this? And I had a PlayStation uh, 2. Oh, yeah. And so I jumped into like Final Fantasy X, the massive backlog of PS1 uh, JRPGs and like Chrono Cross, uh, Legend of Dragoon, um, Final Fantasy VIII and IX. I tried seven. I didn't like seven. Yeah, really? I did not like Final Fantasy seven. Oh, um, wow. I bounced off it real hard when I was a kid. Yeah. And it wasn't until the Advent Children movie dropped. That I was like, oh, man, this is pretty cool stuff. And, yeah. <laughs> and then I just ended up playing all those side games. As opposed to like the actual Final Fantasy seven. And then I ended up playing Final Fantasy seven remake. And I'm like, oh, this is the best game ever. I freaking love this. (laughs) Right. Yeah. I Um, I definitely get that. Wow. Yeah. um, I would probably. So what would your top three be? Um, I'm definitely keeping Star Ocean there. Um, Mm -hmm. I've been meaning to actually go back to it soon and and give that another run. Um, Ooh. uh, shoot see now I'm that's the hard like, questions here. in there like i i guess uh live alive is making it on there or live alive oh my say. god yes yeah. yeah that that game that game has me in a hold dude i um, forgot that game existed for a few minutes <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i i can't shake that one that one that one rattled me to my soul dude um, i know i watched <laughs> i watched that do it to you yeah <laughs> that game gave it to you man it, it really did oh i gotta go back to it and just run through it again um and then ooh dang what would i put there um it's funny because if you asked me this like a month ago i probably would have had a solid three before i considered zero and now mm-hmm. i'm like it might Dude, be it might be zero is good <laughs> it zero is. is very very good what were your top three platformer games oh oh my gosh um, no, I'm hitting you with the hard one today. Yeah, because I literally, you know how many platformers I've played? There's um, a lot, man. The first one that comes to mind is A Hat in Time. Um, Ooh, I might, that might actually, yeah, that, that might actually be my like number one for platformers I've played time and time again in recent years. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I I could elaborate further, but if you've played or seen A Hat in Time, you might understand just at a glance or, or from your experience why I might say that. Um, even though I guess it's a little bit more of a Metroidvania, um, I really like Hollow Knight as well as a platformer. Oh um, my god, you're just speaking to me right now. You're just <laughs> yeah, giving me... Hollow Knight is amazing. <laughs> I love that game. Um, three. Oh man. Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of like draw it back to a classic and actually say Mario sixty four. Yo. Um, yeah. I I love going back to it and. I'm I'm no speedrunner, but every now and again, you know, I'll I'll be watching speedruns, and then when I go mm-hmm. back and play, whenever I do, I like try some of the tricks, and I'm like, oh, look at that! So okay. that's always nice. Yeah. All right, all right. I'm I'm gonna hit you with mine. Yeah. I'm gonna say number one is Donkey Kong Country Two. Diddy's Kong. Dang. Class. Okay. Uh, I I love that game more than like any other that's probably my favorite super nintendo game actually that's crazy yeah dude donkey kong country was just formative for me man uh, <laughs> after that i'm probably gonna say celeste Ooh, see i haven't even gotten to celeste yet oh, i need dude, to it's I, so I've, good i've watched like chunks of it i need to get to it it is the hardest game I have ever beaten by Dang. a wide margin. Dang. <laughs> um, like the last screen. And, and if you've played Celeste in, in the audience, if you've played it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The last screen of chapter nine 
is probably the most difficult thing I've ever done in a video game. Dang. Like, oh. uh, from a technical, like, e execution perspective. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, uh, that's, that's going on the list this year. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to say... Ooh. See, I, I came up with the question without thinking of my own answers <laughs> yet. Um, that's the way. Dude, that's so... It's really hard. I'm going to have to say... Maybe Banjo Kazooie. Ooh, hey, you can't go wrong with that. I'd like, I'm like trying to fit a Mario into this list somewhere, right? But I feel like Mario World is probably like four on my list. Okay, right, right. And I don't know if I'm thinking of Banjo Kazooie or Banjo Tooie. I'd probably um, like make it like one. I'd probably like to say both. Right, that's Banjo fair Tooie too. is literally like it, it has all the same stuff from the first one. I just think the level design in the first game was better. I agree. Even though the abilities yeah. in the second were more fun. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a solid list. I'm, I'm, I'm very. I, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty. Yeah. Good. All right. Okay. Well, now that I've distracted us, let's talk about trains. Oh, I love trains. Yeah. Okay. Actually, here we didn't do a top three at the top. So before we go in. Mm -hmm two uh characters top three dragon ball arcs oh okay you can pull from any of it right oh man am i, am I doing gonna, like least the greatest rude. or i don't just give me a top three it doesn't any, have to okay. be doesn't okay. have to be in any specific order so oh man so okay uh definitely the frieza saga definitely the uh -huh. Cell saga uh, uh -huh. and i'm also gonna say uh the oh my god i forget what number it was but the you know the, the world tournament against piccolo jr oh the one that uh capped off the original dragon ball run pretty much yeah that one that is that's a that is good a great time set. yeah that Dang, was a that was a great a, tournament a that was a set. great final match like just, yeah yeah i'm i'm going to say cell saga uh huh um that world actually Ooh. yeah no i'm gonna go with that world martial arts tournament okay, with yeah. uh piccolo jr yep all right this is where i gotta disagree with you though Ooh. and you're gonna you're not gonna like me oh you're not gonna like me no way which one is it tournament of power <laughs> i i had a feeling i was like he's Dude. either gonna say the saiyan saga or the tournament of power <laughs> Dude, look, Saiyan Saga is pretty cool, but like, dude, Tournament of Power was just it, it was great. all right. All right, it was great. Here's here's the thing with Tournament of Power. All right, Tournament of Power is not the most consistent, right? Arc, but it has some of the hypest moments in <laughs> the whole series. Yeah, <laughs> you're not lying. Like, like the first time he has like good. Like the first time he does like Alter Instinct, like yep. full Alter Instinct, and that yep. freaking insert song comes on, <laughs> it's like mm, it's, it's, it's really like a good. truck. Yeah. Oh. The last ten episodes of that anime are some of the most hype shonen ever put to screen. That is also true. Yeah, and I will stand by that forever. Yeah. No, you're, um, you're not lying at all. There are definitely more consistent arcs. Also um, true. Mm -hmm. Like, I would argue, honestly, I would argue that the Universe 6 uh, exhibition match oh, yeah. is a more consistent arc. Yeah. Um, I would argue that the Red, Rib the Red Ribbon Army arc is oh, yeah. probably, Red Ribbon Army is probably like a top five. Yeah. Actually, here's a question. Do we include the Android saga into the Cell saga? Or oh, are we just talking question. like... Are we just talking like Cell's appearance forward? Right. Like where does that delineate? I, I actually don't know. I guess it depends. I know more commonly it is separated. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's, it's, it's funny, right? Because I say that knowing full well that when people talk about the Cell saga, they do include the androids. Um, yeah. I, God, it's, it's such a gray area, right? Because uh, Android 19 and 20 are very quickly disposed of. And then mm -hmm. we get the 17, 18 introduction, but 
they're not even really interacted with after their awakening until Cell comes around. So it's like, where, when do you, when does it make I mean, that full transition? Like, 18 beats the crap out of Vegeta. Yeah, that's that's right after they, they breaks awaken. Breaks his damn arm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I guess there is like a pretty long gap between they beat up Vegeta and then Cell Saga stuff starts happening. Yeah, pretty much. Like, because after that, they just kind of they just mess around off and like yeah <laughs> they get a, they steal a van <laughs> yep. <go> shopping <laughs> yeah so it's i love it's, this it's too. A weird it's a weird <laughs> gray area but um yeah when talked about i know generally uh they they combine it all into one because i mean i guess yeah, by the end of the day, i, I they, would include them yeah they they are all android and and normally we start one of these with a completely unrelated top three and do you have one for us? Because I've got a I've got a zesty one today. Oh, really? No, hit us with it. All right, all right, all right. Top <laughs> three, or you, or you can give me just a top one. Okay. All right. Top three sound effects. Whoa. Oh wow. Dude, I told you um, I was hitting you with a big one today. <laughs> I have regrets. Um, <laughs> wow, sound effects, huh? Uh huh. Okay. Um. Ooh, <laughs> I could give you the softball one instead, and we can cook this one for later if you'd like. No, no, no. I got this. Okay, I got this. Okay. Okay. All right. The first three that are coming to mind are well one the inception sound been hearing that one a lot oh, I, yeah, I that yeah. one is self-inflicted um i will also say like i've i've also had to listen to this one a lot too come to think of it but the um that sort of like vanishing sound in uh in dragon ball whenever you know a character is moving really fast or something like that oh yeah, yeah um, the yep yep the very yep, one, yep, yep. one in the same and oh Last one, last one. Oh, um, ooh, my gosh! I know this is a really hard question. Yeah, what the what dude? The I've, had heck? Like, I've had like an hour to think about this one, and <laughs> I'm still struggling. This is this is ridiculous. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? Actually, no, no, no. See, that's just a random sound. That's not my top three. Mm -hmm. I almost said like the crazy like fans going off on a ps4 um oh my god can't have that can't have that at all no uh, just, you know what's just... a little mm -hmm. a little uh what it, how would i describe it it's almost like a like a boomy sort of sound not from splatoon but from fall guys i know exactly actually, what you're talking about they, yeah because they make little noises yeah, the like, you know yep the yep. one and the same <laughs> all right all right my top three uh and this is in no particular order um is the the tardis noise from doctor who holy the boow, boow. like that's that's a classic sound effect the, yeah right there um oh crap <sighs> my brain um the wilhelm scream <laughs> nice that would cross uh, my mind yeah see <laughs> and um the, the whatever the text bloop noise that they use in all the legend heroes games nice it's okay. the best okay. text bloop noise i agree damn i would say yeah, though the inception sound is like probably top five <laughs> <laughs> yeah. now here's a stupid question is that the vine yeah. boom noise no is that the different no. noise it's a different noise. What's mm -hmm. the vine boom noise from? That's I, actually what like well, prompted this thought in my head. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, n the vine boom. I don't. I don't know if they were the originators of the sound. To be honest with you, but uh, if you're familiar with that app from forever ago, that yeah, yeah, basically yeah. became TikTok. Yeah, uh, it was commonly used in like a lot of the bigger creators. Uh, um, I guess vines to. It's like uh, the anime. Know, so, wow. Noise. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
It's very much, yeah, it's used in, in, I guess, kind of similar instances, to be honest with you, except instead of lewd, it's just shock in general. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, definitely. I see, I see. Awesome. Oh. Before we start anything, we have to do our top three. Of course. Now, do you have a top three for us? I, I've always given the top three. <laughs> I'm going to put you on the spot. Okay. Um... Oh, you know what? Okay, since we talked about it a little bit earlier, um, top three pizza toppings. Oh, dude. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, that's a rough one. <laughs> uh, I gotta go. I gotta go with you know pepperoni. Of course, is uh, you know the classic. Everything's good on pep pepperoni. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say banana pepper. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna say banana pepper and tomato oh and i would 100 percent eat a pizza that's pepperoni banana pepper and tomato that's kind of wild okay wait so so tomato on a pizza huh i've never i've yeah, never yeah, seen like, this so like, like is it just actual slices of like chunks okay of like tomato. chunks okay like, okay yeah kind of like uh like like really big chunks uh domino's does it and oh. a few other places and I didn't used to be into it, but yeah. a lot of places that don't do really heavy sauce yeah. will have that as an option. And I don't know, man. It's That's got neat. like it adds a different texture to like the sauce flavor, and I'm a big fan of it. Okay. No, that's neat. I'm I'm not typically a tomato guy, but that does sound like actually pretty appetizing, I'm not gonna lie to you. See, I love tomatoes. Uh, <laughs> okay, nice. I'm such a fan. All right. <laughs> How about you? Um, I'm with you on pepperoni. Uh, that is, yeah, that is that is the classic, as you said. Oh yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna you know toss some toss some oil on that on the fire. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I do not mind pineapple on a pizza. I was gonna ask you if you liked pineapple on pizza if you didn't bring it up. I yeah. also like pineapple. Yeah. Here's my blazing hot take, though. Yeah. All right. Well, here, give you me give me your third topping, and then I'll oh. give you my blazing hot take. Um. I'm gonna go with um I'm gonna go with ground beef. Ooh, I hate ground beef on pizza. Yeah. I I like kinda grew up with it. Um I haven't had it in a long time, so I mean shoot, maybe my opinion mm -hmm. will change, but I do have some uh some fond memories of that as a kid because my, my older sister was like obsessed with it. So we had it we had it often. I see, I yep. see. I, I, I would like to apologize literally as soon as we started my recording. Uh, there, we have like a wind storm going on and my upstairs neighbors oh. are moving around so it's fine, it's fine. I'm just letting people know I will try to edit out these sounds as much as possible. <laughs> um, oh, good. So yeah, my, my blazing hot take as far as pineapple on pizza goes is mm -hmm. I I don't like Hawaiian pizza. Right. Um, Like pineapple with ham doesn't work. Right. Pineapple with pepperoni is a power play though yes uh i'm with you on that 100 percent uh literally whenever my little sister orders uh orders a pizza now she'll actually mm -hmm. get that exact combo oh my god okay yeah. so it's maybe it's not as blazing hot take as i thought it was <laughs> i just like every time people are like oh hawaiian pizza it is ham and pineapple and I'm like, right no, 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 no. The, the ham doesn't do anything right exactly it's like the pineapple completely overpowers whatever you're doing with the ham so mm -hmm. like you have to add another sharp flavor in there to compete with it yes i'm glad we agree on this honestly it's, it's, i didn't see that it, one coming <laughs> it sparks a lot of joy it's it, uh, <laughs> in, in, in the cockles of my heart oh let's go real quick mini top three mario kart tracks oh my god and why is it just coconut mall there three is, times there is no way man <laughs> <laughs> why is it just coconut mall <laughs> i'm not gonna lie to you i have a hot take i actually don't really like coconut mall i mean the music what? the music yes okay, but i don't yeah, really care for the track oh i'm sorry i meant like oh music oh I music wise music. no oh, okay. i'm sorry i realize that tracks can both also mean track no, yeah we'll do yeah. we'll do top three like actual race tracks music. later no i want okay. top three music right now top three music Ooh. and why is all three of them coconut you're mall? so silly <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's do it oh wow um i liked i believe it is koopa troopa beach 
I oh, think that yep, yeah, I think that is Mario Kart sixty four. Mm-hmm. Um, I hmm, there was there was something about I think it's Calamari Desert. Funnily enough, I'm thinking N sixty four again. There was something about oh, it yeah, as a kid yeah, yeah. that sort of gave me like almost melancholic feelings. I don't know. I don't know like how to describe it properly, but like maybe that's like kind of the closest. Like I just felt kind of like mellowed out while listening to it and racing on that track. I was like, cause I think it comes I can at feel the, that. Yeah. Like I think it comes at the end of its, of its, um, uh, cup, uh, course. Yeah. yeah. It's cup. And for some reason, maybe? maybe I was just like, I was just like, dang, like, yeah, this is, this is the final race, huh? Like we're, we're here. Like, this is this is this is almost like a little victory yeah. lap for me right now. <laughs> while I while I watch as a train almost like rams into me at full speed. Um <laughs> the slowest train in the world called yeah. the most of all time. <laughs> um All right. All right. Yeah, so Calamari Desert and Ooh. Um Dang, am I really like I'm I'm kind of pressing myself because I'm like all of these tracks are N64. Um, that's fine. That's that's not. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Ra- N64, Rainbow Road, Mario 64. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Rainbow, yeah. Rainbow Road also yeah. gave me Rainbow similar Road feelings. Rainbow Road 64 is the best Rainbow Road. Well, like <laughs> honestly, a country mile. Honestly, I and you know it's crazy. I actually don't really like the Mario Kart 8 take on it. Oh yeah, I yeah. agree with that. Yeah, the original is significantly better. A lot of people love it, and I'm just like, no, no I it's would. Fu- it's good. Yeah, like, the melody is tier one. Oh like, yeah, absolutely. Like, like when that riff goes on, the... mm-hmm. da, da. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, it just sends me directly yeah. to heaven. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, I am now deceased. Life is good. Yeah, no, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say N64 Rainbow Road. Okay, Coconut Mall. Because, of I course, mean, God, I love coconut. <laughs> of course, my God, it's so good at everything. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say, <sighs> dude, Toad's Turnpike is pretty good. There's no way. No, there hold on. No Listen way. to me. Listen to me, man. Hold on. Toad's Turnpike. It's like it's like it's <laughs> like a fr- it's it's like the quintessential Mario like hold on is it toad's turnpike i'm thinking of i hope not no 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 no, no. it's it's uh, what's the one that da 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 oh my gosh you know what track and song i'm talking about what i'm not sure i do <laughs> what i actually i'm not sure i'm, I'm gonna have sure to look this up <laughs> please do hold on i'm gonna Google i'm this so curious now. Turnpike. It's got to be that one. Yo, give me two seconds for sure. <laughs> no, that's not it. Uh, wait. Is it... I do remember this song. Yeah, this is not the one I'm thinking of. Okay, thank God. Because I can't stand uh, anything about Toad's Turd Fight. What? I hate Toad's Turd Fight. Is dope. Uh, no. Hold on. I need Mario 64 music. Uh, I mean, here's Rainbow Road extended. I'm just going to. I'm just going to. Yeah, just, watch just real quick. As, um, as a random aside for your N64 yes. experience, have you played Bomberman Hero? Yeah, of course I have. Thank God. Wait, like, is not Bomberman, Bomberman Hero the same as Bomberman 64? No, different game. Bomberman Hero is an actual platformer. Do what? Yeah, dude. Let me tell you right now. If you haven't played Bomberman Hero, you missed out on one of the best OSTs in video game history. Yo, what is happening here? Wait, no. This... <laughs> okay, but then you see Bomberman 64 there, right? Yeah, wait. That's a different game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I played Bomberman 64. Okay. Well, Bomberman here is a separate... It's a different, it's a different game. game, yes. As, I, as you can see in that screenshot that you actually have pulled up there, like, he's yeah. he's in the air, he's throwing a bomb. Like, yeah, it's a whole platformer experience. Whoa. Yeah, I just blew your freaking mind. I need that game on the N64 emu- emulator immediately. <laughs> Yo, hold the phone. I do need that. Yeah. 
yeah i'll i'll definitely show you uh like a couple of tracks later i'm gonna have to look up whatever track i'm thinking of yes. editor eric figure that out yes the do 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 you know what it is <laughs> well okay he'll know what it is but i, I we'll figure it out 